Hello, this is Mr. Elkins. Um, we're going to talk about how to take a selfie. Uh, not talking about this one where I'm taking a picture of myself, but instead me checking in. You should be doing this three times a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, you can do this with friends or family. Uh, since we're in quarantine, family is probably your best bet. Um, so how do you take a selfie? Why do we do it? Um, if we are not actively aware of what's going on, it impacts how we make choices and how we treat others. Uh, this is very important for when we're talking about social skills because sometimes we don't even realize why we're acting the way we are. But it's because of one of these three things. Um, so the first one is this one. We're talking about our thinking. So what are you thinking? Um, so you could be thinking good things or negative things, right? So let's pretend you're thinking positive things and then you're given something and you're not doing a good job at it. All of a sudden, it's like rain clouds coming in um, and it kind of blocks out that sunshine, right? And all of a sudden, you start thinking all these negative thoughts. These negative thoughts kind of cloud your vision where it's like, you know how the sun is gone, it's hard to see same kind of thing, like you're not seeing right. So it's like, where'd everyone go, right? Um, with that, that is impacting um, not just your thinking anymore, but then all of a sudden, your brain is going from like, we're good to, uh-oh, I need to survive. I can't, I can't figure this out. Now I'm in survival mode. So with that, that impacts our feelings. So instead of, hey, I'm good, uh, now it's like, I'm not happy, or I'm in yellow zone, right? So it's like this, maybe it's even a little bit more like that, right? Um, so now you're, you're needing to start to think about what am I feeling? What's going on right now? So am I feeling angry? Remember, anger is a good emotion if you use it the right way. Think, okay, I'm angry. How should I respond? How can I use my anger to, instead of burn something down, how can I use it to make something good? Like brownies or cookies, um, right? So you're thinking, hmm, my feelings are impacting me. Um, and if I'm angry, what am I going to do with it? Am I going to let it control me or am I going to control my anger? What choices am I going to make? So you're, in, you're checking in with yourself. You're taking that selfie. So the third one is what are you believing? Um, right here, that's what you're believing about what you're doing and yourself, right? So your thoughts are impacting what you believe. So if I'm struggling with math, all of a sudden I'm believing like I can't do math anymore. I can't do it. I might as well give up, right? Like you're starting to believe these things. You're starting to say these things. Be very aware of what you're saying um, because the more and more you say it, the more likely you're going to believe it, right? So you got to be aware of what you're saying, parents. Be aware of what your child is saying because they're saying something that they probably already believe about whatever it is that they're struggling with. So these three things are interconnected and it could go any direction. Right? If you're not feeling good, you're sad, all of a sudden that could impact what you're thinking or what you're believing about what's going on. Like, I feel sad or I feel tired right now. I'm in blue zone. You know what? I'm believing that it's more important right now to sleep in than get my work done. So I'm going to do this so I don't have to do my work. Like, you got to think about how these things are impacting your child's choices. So with that, um, I appreciate your time. If you have not already, please feel free to subscribe and follow. Um, trying to make videos to help parents uh, be successful with working with their kids at home. Um, I appreciate your time. Have a good day.